Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the HD2 NAND Toolkit um, made by K Subidai from uh, x -Day Developers. Um, going with version 4.1 and um, what this application allows you to do is almost anything that uh, in regards uh, CLK or Magloader. Um, here's the main interface. It's, you can download the setup file in the description. I'll uh, link you to the forum post, um, the original forum post for this HD2 NAND toolkit. Um, and you install it just like you do a normal program and you start it up and this is the main screen, this is what you get. Um, along the top you'll notice uh, these are the main options so you can um, choose your repartition of Magloader, um, you can update the recovery, you update the clockwork mod, you can partition CLK um, and you can install recovery on CLK and you can also downgrade recovery. Um, Along the left pane here, there are the different recover well, different repartition uh, sizes, and below that is the cache size. Also below that um, is the version of Magloader um, toolkit version, CLK version, recovery version that is included in this program. So obviously they'll get updated um, as the program and as the tools get updated. If you look in the console here, this is in the middle middle bit of the window, and this shows you everything that's going on. So if I, you know, if I change uh, to 400 meg and then click one of these buttons, it will appear in the console window. It's just pretty cool. It's kind of like a log of what's going on, so you can see what's happening. Um, when I uh, change these options at the top, you can see it changes, like I said, in the console window, and also at the bottom the functions. Um, change so update about go to site changes to repartition about and go to site once you click these things at the top um, you can also change the cache size over here um, on the right hand side and you can choose the system partition for CLK but that will only swap over when I press this top button here so that changes there um, I suppose the advantage of Magloader is that you can and type in the cache size uh, that you want, uh, whereas in CLK you can only choose 5 megabyte and 45 meg. Um, although CLK is a lot faster booting up, so you know there's plus and downsides to both of them. You can also install custom NBH and RUU files, so I assume and that's you know things like boot screens, stuff like that, radios. So you can install those there. Uh, you can also do a task 29 which is something I recommend to a lot of users who are having problems with Android and flashing them onto the NAND because they seem to get like errors and things so if you wipe your phone with a task 29 it cleans the whole NAND any stuff that's left over from previous flashes will be taken off and it's sort of you know a fresh start you need to install HSPL again the radio um, just everything well you don't need to install HSPL I don't think but you need to install the radio um, and Magloader and all that sort of stuff again. So it's quite a cool tool to have. Uh, you can also install HSPL from here, which is also another uh, nice feature of the site, of the program. Uh, if you press Express Tools, which is currently in beta, what this allows you to do is um, when you click Install Magloader or CLK or any of these options here, it will actually skip all the main screens it's like a little script that presses the buttons for you so you don't have to press next update next you know flash it just goes through all the motions for you so it's quite a cool tool but like I said it's in beta or beta um, and you know there might be bugs in it but I, I've not experienced any so far so you should, I think you should check that out it's pretty cool you can also check for updates and um, this will take you to the thread uh, the original thread by uh, the developer so that's quite a cool feature and you can also download drivers which is uh, quite important for CLK um, and it, you press download drivers and it tells you you're about to download drivers for HTC, HD2 following drivers are included in the package, bootloader, HTC Sense, ADB, Google Drivers, few more it's shot the zip file and run installer so that takes you to um, I don't know if you can see that, that takes you to this website here, it takes you to a Google URL and uh, downloads this zip file here, which is pretty cool. 
um, gives you everything all in one package. So that's quite useful because a lot of people are having trouble with the drivers and things. So it's a really cool application. I recommend you get it if you want to do everything in you know a couple of clicks. You want everything to load fast. Do this. Do that. This is the application for you. It's really it's lightweight. It's really easy to use, and it's just a real time saver. It's you know it cuts out lots of errors that people have in lots of um, you know doubts, questions, things like that, and problems and you know, it, it doesn't take a genius to work out how to use it really. So, I recommend you d download this. I'll leave the download link in the description and just go ahead and get it. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section or leave them on the uh, developer's thread on XDA because he's more likely to know about any problems with the application as he developed it or, or made it, coded it. So, you know, leave your comments on my YouTube video or preferably on the original uh, forum thread. And if you've if you want to see more videos then subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.